everyone. I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before I filmed a video apologising for not keeping up with these monthly favourites. I think I knew deep down in myself that I wasn't going to keep up with these. I just keep forgetting when it gets towards the end of the month. I'm like, oh my god, I should be filming my monthly favourites right now. So that's the reason why I'm really behind on these. I've only missed out a month though, I think. Or two months, maybe. I, I'm just going to like combine the two together and just literally talk about my current phase at the moment so I'll probably call this video my current favourites. Just a little bit of a catch up video and a few things I've bought so hope you enjoy. <laughs> first thing I wanted to talk about, which is something I have absolutely been dying to talk about for ages, is 13 Reasons Why. I finished watching this now maybe at least three weeks ago. I literally watched the first episode and was hooked. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. It is actually now like one of my favourite TV series like ever. I absolutely fell in love with it so much. I felt like when I finished, that's literally all I wanted to talk about. I just loved all the characters in it, the whole storyline. I know there's so much controversy towards this TV series and a lot of like issues that are, are discussed in it and I think it is absolutely hugely important the issues that are discussed in it. I don't really feel like what people are saying about glorifying suicide and that type of thing, I don't agree with that whatsoever. I think if anything it would deter someone from doing so. That's just my personal opinion. I absolutely just love the TV series. I thought it was something totally new and different. I have to say my favourite is definitely Alex and Tony. I feel like I really, really want Alex to be my best friend. Loved him like throughout the whole series. I also wanted to speak about it because I picked up the book. Admittedly, I haven't read much of it yet. I actually have probably read like maybe two or three chapters. So I have just started this book. So next time I do one of these YouTube videos, who knows when that will be. I will mention about what I thought about this book because I'm trying, really trying hard to get back into reading again. I do love it, but I find it so hard. I'm such like a social media person. I love to spend ages scrolling through Instagram and Twitter and I find it really hard to put my phone down to pick up a book. I started reading this book, already I feel like it's going to be completely different to the TV series although I'm not sure because I know this is like a TV tie-in so I'm not too sure um, but I'm loving it so far. So this is a current favourite for me this month. Next I will talk about another book that I have wanted to get my hands on for ages and that is Connor Franter's Note to Self. I remember watching the trailer for his book, for the launch of the book. I have watched that video like absolutely like countless times. I absolutely love Connor Franta's videos and I think he, the way he does his videography work is amazing. The videographer who filmed that a book trailer is amazing, so good. I absolutely loved it so much. It says on the back of it, this is an open diary. This gives my insides a voice through visuals and poetry. This is me spilled out on paper. And that is what I absolutely love about it. I was so excited to get it because straight away, I mean, just look how pretty that book cover is. I'm really into pink at the moment. Maybe that's why, but it's a gorgeous book. Yeah, inside there's just loads and loads of pictures and writing, a lot of writing and like poetry tree, it's very pretty. I definitely feel like this is a very Instagram friendly book, like 100%. I haven't started reading it yet, but I've had a little like flick through it. I love about it as well is a lot of these are like poems and stuff. There's a lot of quotes and stuff in there that he's just came up with. I really love the whole idea of just little thoughts and notes that have came to him that he's decided to write down. And the, the way it just goes with all of the, the photography inside is it just flows so nice. Like it, I'm really going to enjoy it. I'm like really into my writing and everything at the moment, so I feel like that's really going to like inspire me to just write some more. So I'm really excited about reading that. <laughs> Recently I have been watching a lot of TV series which I found quite funny because when I first started filming these videos I was quite worried about speaking about TV programs and that type of thing because I don't really watch a lot of TV and I don't get into TV series very often. It's quite funny that recently 
from saying that I have been watching loads of TV series. I'm watching quite a few at the same time. One weekend me and Jay watched a lot of 13 Reasons. We also started watching Riverdale at the same time. I am still watching Riverdale. I keep drifting in and out of it. It's real hard because a lot of people I've spoke to about Riverdale are like obsessed with it but for me like I'm really finding it hard to get into it. I kind of really want to love it but at the same time I find it hard to watch because I find it a bit cringy. Very typical American TV drama sort of thing. But I am still watching that. I will let you know when I've finished it what I thought. I've just recently started picking up Gossip Girl again. Season 3? No. I think I've just started season 4. So I'm currently watching that at the moment too. Another TV series though that I really wanted to mention is Girl Boss because I am loving that TV series. I was really excited for it to come out. I really love the whole um, story of Sophia who runs a Nasty Girl. What kind of annoys me about the TV series is that I think a lot of people are comparing it to the book, which is not the case like whatsoever. I'm absolutely certain that the TV series is a very like loose story of um, how she began Nasty Girl. I feel like the TV series definitely more focuses on her relationships with people. I love the fact that it's only like half an hour episodes as well because it's really easy to watch. It's something that you can kind of be like, oh, I'll just pop another one on because it's only half an hour so it doesn't take up too much time. I think it's very funny and it's just very like new girl. I feel like in parts it's quite cringy, but if you can get over that, then it's a really good TV series which I'm really enjoying watching. I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race as well, which I feel is like amazing and every kind of drama that I need in my life because it's just amazing and I've heard so many good things about that TV series and I know I've got a lot of catching up to do because I started from season two but I'm kind of thinking I might skip a few and just go like more towards the newer ones and um, so that's another TV series I've also been loving. The one I also wanted to mention that I think I mentioned in maybe the last video I did or the one before that I was watching America's Next Top Model. I have finished that TV series now and I have to say I absolutely loved that recent series. If you haven't watched it I won't give any spoilers but I have to say I nearly said it then. My favourite one 100% like I was rooting for her the whole way through. I have to say it's also a really big shame that Rita isn't doing the next series because I really enjoyed her being on there. Very excited to have Tyra back though. I'll also mention my sunglasses which are on my head. don't really know why they're there because I think I just put them on before the video. I got these sunglasses actually this morning before I filmed this video so I really really wanted to include them because they are so gorgeous, so pretty. I feel like every time I film one of these current faves videos or monthly favourites or whatever, I always include sunglasses, but I am an absolute hoarder of sunglasses. So I really want to do a sunglasses video on YouTube soon, just of my little collection. I know I've mentioned about that, doing that before, but that's something I really, really want to do at some point because I have so many and I absolutely love them. I have such a habit of going into like Primark and just buying them because they're so cheap in there as well. And I just honestly I cannot stop buying them. I love anything like this at the moment because like I mentioned last time I'm sure I spoke about these like sunglasses and stuff. I use a lot of them in my vlog photos just recently as it is sunglasses season. These I am so excited to photograph because I just think they're going to look so pretty in some photos. They look like this on. So very cool Instagram vibes. Absolutely loving these. I think everything looks pink so that's also a plus. I'm really loving pink at the moment. These are from a place called Hotel Shaojal. I kid you not, I absolutely love the name. I'll link down below because they have some really, really cool vintage store that is really well priced. Some real gems on there. I am a real lover of vintage things. But when I go to vintage places, I, I just, I'm one of those people that just never seems to find anything. So I actually love shopping vintage online as opposed to shopping it in person because I feel like it's easier to find the gems and I always find things I love. So many things on that um, website, Hotel Shower Gel. There's some really, really cool stuff on there. These were off there and they, yeah. They're just so cool. I really, really love these sunglasses. I also got from that shop as well, a really gorgeous skirt and it looks like this 
it's got really cute little candy cane stripes on there and at the back it has a really nice little button on there and a zip but the button detail on there as well is really really pretty i am massively into pink at the moment as i've said many times in this video for some reason the skirt is very cute and i thought it would look great on some blog photos something i can style really nicely and i just i've got lots of ideas for it so i wanted to speak about my earrings that i picked up i am massively into earrings at the moment i actually think they're probably my favorite jewelry item i'm hugely into my hoops i mentioned that a couple of months ago i think i used to always i don't know maybe feel a little bit self-conscious wearing like big earrings but like hoops and that type of thing i never really noticed that they're there as long as like they don't annoy me like i love wearing them i was actually on instagram the other day i was having a little look through it was instagram stories and stuff a girl i follow on mine she picked up loads of absolute beauties from H&M. I loved all the earrings that she picked up. After work I went and had a little look. I actually couldn't find any of the earrings she had apart from one pair which were luckily the ones that I wanted the most. They look like this and they are gorgeous star earrings which I think are absolutely beautiful. They were £6. We actually tried them on last night and they were a lot bigger than what I expected them to be but they are very, very cute. I've been after a pair of star earrings for a while. I can't wait to photograph this for my vlog. Stars and gold, can't go wrong. So keeping in with a pink theme, although not on purpose, this Garnier Skin Active soothing botanical toner with rose water as soon as this came out i was really excited to try it i'm not a big lover of rose scented things i never really have been but i do love products with rose in them because i always find them to be really nice and soothing i particularly think that rose is good for problematic skin this one came out and i spotted it in a magazine and i don't think it's actually been out that long it's quite new so i kept popping in superdrug to see if they had this in and eventually i did get it in they also do moisturizer and they do a i think they do a cleanser as well so i really want to try those at some point i actually think that they are still at quite a low price because i think they're quite an introductory sort of price so this I think is literally only like two pounds something which i think is really really great for this i just love it so much it does smell like rose it actually reminds me of like baby shampoo sometimes like when we were little we used to make water slides in the garden with fairy liquid on them it, the smell reminds me of that for some reason when you put it on your skin i have honestly noticed a real difference that my skin just feels a lot cleaner my blemishes have started to just become a little less noticeable don't know if it's this or whether it's just a combination of the products that i've been using currently but this i really enjoy using like i mentioned it really makes my face feel really clean this is for dry and sensitive skin this one it's from the 96 percent natural origin range it's just really really nice to use i really want to try the moisturizer but i currently have a moisturizer at the moment that i'm really happy with I might try that at a later date i know that they also have in the other ranges that have just came out a honey one and an aloe vera one as well i really want to try those as well so if you've tried them let me know because i'm really interested to see if they they're any good so those of you that follow me maybe on my instagram or followed me for a long time on here know that i'm a huge lover of um anything bath anything you can put in the bath i'm all over it it was actually at easter now my sister sent down a few things for me she sent me some chocolate that i could have shown you if i had done this video sooner but obviously you know so I, that chocolate has gone now but my sister sent me down some chocolate that she actually makes herself i'm gonna link her shop down below with her like consent that she let me do it for you to have a little check out because she makes some really lovely products and the chocolate is so nice and really milky she also made me these which she does make on her shop as well and that is these bath bombs so i'll actually take them out so i know that she can make like loads of different shapes and different colors and um, different scents and stuff so obviously you cannot smell this but it smells like 
chocolate orange because she asked me a few different smells that I wanted. I have loved chocolate orange scents for a long time so I mentioned chocolate orange and she's also made me a lemon one which I'll show you in a minute. She also made me another orange sherbet one and one that smelled like cherry bakewell that you might have seen on my Instagram story and it also had a little pendant that came out of it which was so sweet so I know that she puts a lot of different things in her bath bombs like to make them like, really exciting or a little bit different so this is the chocolate orange one it smells like so good oh, like I could eat it and I love it it's so glittery as well and then this is also the lemon sherbet one which smells exactly like lemon sherbet you know like the I think they're called dip dabs we used to dip the lolly into that like, sherbet so that's just like that so good i've also used the other ones like i mentioned and they are so good they fizz for like at least five to like seven minutes the last one i had made the water a really really nice like bluey color definitely worth a check out because like i mentioned she can do so many different smells and scents and colors and they're really well priced as well <laughs> To music now I have been loving a lot of new music that I'm very excited a lot of bands that I love have started coming back again I did a blog post recently that I'll link down below on loads of um, bands that I love I've recently brought out new music or just new music I've actually been loving at the moment I mentioned in that post like foster the people they've just brought out three new songs that I absolutely love. The people, I've missed them so much because they're one of my favourite bands. And also Haim, I've brought out new music you might have heard of. So like I mentioned, I'll link that down below so you can check out a few of those. What I really wanted to talk about though is Kasabian because I am hugely into Kasabian at the moment. They have been really up there for me for like a very long time when they brought new music out i just couldn't wait to listen to our new album i honestly think it's been on repeat now for as long as it i can't remember how long ago it actually came out it's probably been two two or three weeks ago now i love it so much so many good tracks on there i feel like on this album it's not typical kasabian it's actually got a lot of stuff on there that i actually listened to and thought this does not sound like Sabian whatsoever. Not in a bad way, in a like, I really love it. I think a lot of people were quite disappointed by the fact there wasn't a lot of like guitar music and stuff on there. But for me, when I listen to Kasabian, I don't really feel like they are a band that's about that anyway. Maybe from the beginning they might have been, but definitely a lot of their new stuff is a lot more sort of electronic very cool just like really cool music they make and I have a lot of favourites off there like Comeback Kids probably my favourite I also mentioned that on the blog post as well so definitely check that out Jay's seen them quite a few times live and likes to rub that in the fact that he's seen them I've never seen Kasabian and they're 100% on my list to see at some point because oh just I love them really good album so that is all from me for now. I feel really guilty because I feel like I should have done a lot more in this video because of having missed the previous two months. But I've been really good recently and haven't been buying a lot of things. I haven't actually got that much to speak about. I did plan on getting a lot more things in time for this video, but I'm just so unorganised. We'll hopefully put those in the next video for you. I will see you next month. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, all the usual stuff down below. And yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this video everyone. Bye. Okay. Right now. So if there's thing <laughs> Stop saying so Controversial, controver, controversial. Con I can't even say that word. <laughs> I don't know. What was I going to mention then? <sighs> On there. It's not like. Let's start that again. Give me, give me